Fall is about to drop, and if you are as ready as I am for the chill, then you're going to love what's coming soon. Two signature events signal the start of fall in the greater Pittsburgh area. Music to your ears, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and today we are joined by Dana Busey of Washington County Tourism, and she has brought a very special guest, and that's because one of the events happening this weekend is the Pennsylvania Bavarian Oktoberfest in Cannonsburg, and that's why Chef Yosef Karst from Atria's is here. Chef Yosef, hi, good Hello. to see you. Hi. And Dana, good to see you too. Nice to see you, folks. You're making potato pancakes yes. down here. That's this is cool. really exciting. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot going on in Washington County. Yes, there is. It's a very big weekend. The Pennsylvania Bavarian Oktoberfest takes place this weekend, um, September 16th, 17th, and 18th, Friday through Sunday, featuring their German uh, ethnicity in the area with a lot of German foods and uh, games, amusement rides, entertainment, and more. I mean, look at this. I know. <laughs> I'm just like, I mean, but this is really a festival that people look forward to every year. It is a tradition. And it's more than the, just the beer, right? Right, right. Yes, there's uh, two live stages of entertainment with German music um, on one stage, then today's pop music on the other. That's wonderful. And Chef Yosef, so you have some grated potatoes over there, and what are you adding into your mix? I'm going to add one of those beautiful eggs. My chicken's late this morning. Oh, yeah. so the, it's, they're fresh. A little bit salt and pepper, <laughs> which is actually right in front of you, right? Oh, there. sure. Yeah. Now, potato pancakes. I've, I've never tried one before. Is that? A, yeah, I haven't. Is, that's a German staple, right? Yes, and mm -hmm. we got we got some sour cream over that too. <laughs> Calm down. And I just <laughs> added some today. some scallions, some parsley, salt and pepper. Uh huh. That's a magic. A little bit of flour. It's technically, you know, it's it's one of the simplest. But the, my grandmother was a chef, so mm -hmm. she. This is actually her recipe we are using. And so you're going to take all that together and put it into it. What kind of oil do you have here? Is this just vegetable oil? Or? This is a sunflower oil. I'm oh, okay. Using, uh, I'm using today. I prefer that. It has a good uh, heating point. And um, I have some more food in the dome. Can I just go? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Bring the food. <laughs> As well, what we want, Chef Yosef, we're here for. Can, done, I, I can, can I dig into the pretzels? No, no. I want to get into these yeah. pretzels here. You want and to try yeah. some mustard? Yeah, well, mustard is right in front of you. And we, we're, while, while Chef is doing that, there's also another celebration happening, covered, the Covered Bridge Festival, yes. and I've been to that before, and it's, it's beautiful. Thank you, yes. The EQT, Washington and Green County's Covered Bridge Festival, takes place uh, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, the uh, 17th and 18th. It really is the kickoff to the fall festival season in Washington County. Um, it's immensely popular. Um, it, it, again, it's held at 10 separate bridge sites throughout the counties, or both counties, Washington and Green Counties, eight in Washington and two in Green. Yeah. Um, it features a variety of um, arts and crafts vendors and food booths at some of these sites. And some other sites focus more on like live entertainment and historical tr attractions and children's activities. Yeah. Now, what's fun is that, I mean, I know Pittsburgh is the city of bridges, but that area, you're known for your covered bridges. Right. We yeah. sure are. In fact, Washington County alone does rank second in uh, any county in Pennsylvania for the number of covered bridges. That's There's wonderful. 23 that are located there. And how can people take part in the festival? Do you, can you go to each one? How do you, how do you do it? You can. We, we, uh, encourage you to arrive very early. It might be tough to visit all 10 throughout the weekend, but certainly there's different activities. It really depends upon what your interests are, whether it's arts and crafts or historic renovation or uh, reenactments, things like that. Um, I'm interested in all of this food. If mm -hmm. I wasn't married, Chef Yosef, I would be asking you to <laughs> marry me. So what okay. is this right here? What do you have? That's a fresh baked apple strudel oh, with a vanilla sauce. That <laughs> so I, I, have some, I have some forks and some Knives over here. We would oh, love yes, to dig into this do. apple strudel, although it looks like it's probably hot, so we can't go right into yeah. it, right? Can't yeah. lift it up. I've been eyeing this. What is this? <laughs> that's, that's, of course, our famous pork shank. I'm sorry. Oh, that's right good. in front of you. You're fine. Uh, Thank you. That's a big pork shank. Is this for one person? That's for one person, yes. And the best yeah. thing is still missing, the sauerkraut or the red cabbage, whatever you prefer. Mm -hmm. so. And you also brought dessert as well. That's a black forest cake. <laughs> oh, All the apple strudel, of course, is dessert. Oh, but you could have the cake too, right? Yes, yes. Okay. The, the wonderful thing about pass a fork down this way. <laughs> there you go, Mikey. Thanks. Dig in. The what is your favorite thing to try? Uh, desserts. So yes, mm -hmm. apple or black forest cake. <laughs> and how long are your uh, pancakes going to take? Well, that depends on the power we got here. So maybe I've got the wrong flame going. The BTUs are a little bit underperforming. Mm -hmm. I can't so wait. That would be like a hotter skillet. Use a, use a, like a cast iron skillet is mm -hmm. perfect for that. Don't use any Teflon skillets there just for. 
And these are all of the food items that you can find at the festival, we, right? Yeah, we got the full menu. Let me let me let me bring the menu. There, over. There's, there's more. I'm going to say there's more food. Oh, the there's menu more is food great. Too. Okay. Now, is this something that people there's can stop into too. your restaurant, or are you going to be at the festival itself, or both? Of course. Of at course. the restaurant and at the festival. And there is more. Yeah. What is that? That's <laughs> sausages, <laughs> crouch, spetzle. Heather, and come on. You I, I, I need to jump over there and get the gravy real mm -hmm. quick. My gosh, I don't even know what to do with all of this food. Uh, Chef, we're going to have to have you back on the show. <laughs> I hope Sooner so. Sooner than later. <laughs> to speak in my language. All right, thanks, guys. All right, again, two big weekend events. The Pennsylvania Bavarian Oktoberfest taking place in Cannonsburg, September 16th through the 18th. And the EQT covered Bridge Festival Saturday and Sunday throughout Washington and Green Counties. I'm just going to take that. This is like Delicious. my microphone now. And I'm just going to take <laughs> yes. it with me for the rest of the morning. You should. It's so good. So I can just dig in when I need to. <laughs>